Hello everybody, it's Chad from Nature Box Pet Emporium. Today I'm going to tell you how to pack a box correctly to ship a reptile. Stick around. All right, we're in solo mode today. Everybody's out front working. It's quite busy. So it's all me for today's video. If uh, you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel, maybe go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Follow what we do. We do giveaways every 500 subscribers, and I think we're, uh, we're less than 100 subscribers away from hitting that next giveaway. So make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button so you can be entered in for those giveaways. But the topic at hand today is shipping a live reptile. Everybody has uh, their own way of shipping a live reptile, so this is our way. Uh, today we're shipping a pair of oscillated uramastics to Tennessee. Um, every day here at Nature Box, we ship anywhere from, well, zero to, you know, 15 or 20 different shipments. Uh, so this one is an interesting animal to do a video on because it poses a little bit of a challenge. One of the most important things when it comes to shipping a reptile is do not let it get too hot. Cold typically will put reptiles to sleep. Heat will kill a reptile. So whenever you do your reptile shipment, just keep that in mind. Do not cook them inside of the box. So when it comes to shipping them, you need uh, the most important thing is a foam insulated box. Uh, we have uh, you know half inch up to uh, three eighths inch uh, insulated box. Sometimes we ship in a completely foam box for maximum insulation value. Because of the weather here, uh, here in Denver as well as Tennessee, we're going to go with a little bit thinner uh, line insulation. And at the bottom, we put in some foam peanuts. You want to pack your reptiles inside of a deli container or a bag tighter than you would think you know they definitely are not uh super comfortable in this but you don't want them to be you know i'll use this little critter keeper for example if we were just to put a, a uramastix in this and stick this in a box and if the wait for it wait for it this is going to be amazing if the peanut if the peanut right here was your animal and this is uh, this is getting shipped you know that animal is going to get bounced around and it's going to have a really bad time so you know you do want to pack them tighter than you would think this protects the animal from getting jostled around in the box inside of the container i don't want to show you because i don't want to jostle them because that's just not cool so in this particular box uh, i always put some peanuts or newspaper down at the bottom to provide some cushion and then I put the uramastix inside of the box directly in the center. And now we're going to fill in the sides with some more peanuts. So that will keep them centered inside of their shipping box. Uh, one of the questions that we frequently get is like, oh, hey, Nature Box, we just got our animal. There's no holes uh, in the side of the box. How is it alive? Well, that's a great question. The The box is breathable. You know, this is not a like a in a plastic bag or anything like that. So this is a breathable container. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, if you want some more airflow or if it's going to be a little hot or a little cool, um, depending upon your conditions, probably not cool, but rather hot, you can poke some holes in the sides to allow for a little more airflow. But usually that's not uh, necessary. So we're going to go over here to our shipping center. I need some more peanuts. And we'll put those in. So the reason that I kind of skew the uramastics towards the bottom in this shipment is because I'm going to add a heat pack. This is the, this is the interesting and challenging aspect of shipping. This particular shipment is because it has uramastics. Uramastics out of any reptile, um, well, I mean, that's a, that's a very broad reaching statement, but you know, more than your average reptile will say, do not like the cold. So they do need a heat pack. So I'm going to open up this heat pack, put it in the top 
And then uh, we'll come back and show you. I need both hands for that task. So what I'm going to be doing off camera is you take this out of its container, which basically activates the heat pack um, after you shake it. So uh, I use 40-hour heat packs. These do not get too hot. They get nice and warm, but not scorching hot. If you're using something like a hand warmer, throw it in the garbage. That is not to be used for shipping a reptile. They get too hot. Or, you know, the 72-hour uh, heat packs, those sometimes will get too hot as well. So usually 40-hour heat packs are the staple for shipping a reptile. Um, if you're shipping fish, 72-hour heat pack would be a better option. But reptiles, 40-hour heat pack is what you want because it's not going to get too hot. And, you know, should something drastic happen and bad, you know, this will be only in the box from, you know, 4 o'clock on... Tuesday to 10:30 the next day. So less than 12 hours, well to ish, it'll be out of the hands of a human being. So if we get lost, it'll still be okay with a 40-hour heat duration. So and I always like to put these inside of a paper bag. So I'm going to take this out, shake it up, put it in the bag, and then we'll finish packing the box. So the heat pack has been shaken up uh, very well. You know, give it a really good shake. This is a uh, definitely a task and a half when uh, sometimes you know i have to do like mm, 40 or 50 of these things you get three or four in your time you just uh shake it like a polaroid picture if you're that cool to know that song i'm not uh so the red stripe i do get asked that too the red stripe that's what i came back on to tell you that is the top of the heat pack you need to make sure that you leave uh some of this breathable some people will just straight up tape these to the tops of your foam box which is fine um but and i'd actually i do that sometimes as well so it's not it's not bad to do that but you know if you put a, a strip of tape like here 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 and all across the top you need to make sure that you leave this breathable because um the heat pack works via chemical reaction with the air so it has to have some exposure to the air to create that reaction which creates the heat so you know if you put this in a bag and then you tape the bag on there, you're basically making a barrier between the tape, which is not breathable, um, and the fabric, which is breathable, and just making it so that uh, the entire container or this entire um, heat pack is a breathe in a breathable state. So that's why I usually put my heat packs inside a bag and then I tape the bag. So let's do that. That is that. We have our heat pack inside of our brown breathable paper bag. And then that is now secured to the top so it's not bouncing around or, you know, by some miracle it works its way through the peanuts and, and comes into contact with uh, the plastic container. That's what we're trying to avoid. So because this is going to get hot, um, you know, that's why, again, this is why it's at the tippy top of the box and the reptiles have, you know, three inches of padding between them and the heat. So they'll stay warm, but they are not going to get hot. So typically, too, when you get a shipment from Nature Box Pet Emporium, we're going to give you uh, some swag, so a few stickers, a sweet pin. Um, this is where I put in the customer's uh, invoice and whatnot. And past that, it's pretty easy. So all you need to do is put the lid on the box, tape it up, and then drop it off at your nearest uh, FedEx-approved hub. Some places, or, you know, center drop-off. Some places do not accept uh, return or accept live animals so you need to make sure that your um, FedEx center that you're dropping it off to does accept them same with UPS you know we ship through shipyourreptiles.com that is a local Denver company so of course we're going to support them if you haven't done so already or if you're just going to your local FedEx store and uh, and signing up or you know shipping a box do not do that go to shipyourreptiles.com they will give you a better discount um, than the shipping rate you get by just walking in off the street and saying, hey, I've got a brown box that I need to ship, or a white box in this case, um, so hook me up. But that's it, guys. Oh, one last one, and I usually do not put live animal. Some places will come in with live animal all over the box. Um, I will put, you know, protect from direct sunlight, but I tend to think that everybody is an 11 year old and if you say don't push the button they're gonna push the button and if you put live animal on the box they'll have a tendency to separate out that box and maybe shake it so that they get some sort of reaction from the animal inside rather if they think this is a perishable handle with care box who knows what's in it maybe it's some glassware 
or whatever, and they're not going to shake the box. So you definitely have two different philosophies on that. Um, I am one of the guys, don't mark it up, you know, don't let them know that there is something live in there that they could potentially harass in some way, shape, or form. But that's it. So again, guys, thanks for watching the video. This is how we ship our live reptiles. So if you ever order from us, the process that your animal is going to go through is pretty similar to this. Maybe we'll do a video in the winter, in the dead of winter, and we show you how we pack for winter packing. But there is always extremes. You know, we can't ship when it's super freezing outside or when it's typically above 100 degrees. So the shoulder seasons, spring and fall, great time to ship your reptiles. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the video, comment below, um, let us know if you've ever had an animal shipped in and how it turned out. Sometimes, most of the time, it's really, really good. Sometimes it's bad, you know. Is there anything that you think that they could have done to make it better? Comment below. I'd love to know your shipping reptiles experiences. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see you soon. We'll have a video out next week. Thanks for tuning in.